Hi everyone, I'm sure that we all got the latest uh, conspiracy kits and I was kind of excited because when you first get it, it looks like the old uh, Burger King crowns. And so we were all excited and we we're like, oh wow, this is going to be great. Look how many we get until you open it up. And it took me a little bit to figure this out. I think I almost used some cuss words in my store. So I wanted to show you what the finished product looks like and then I'm going to open one and kind of give you guys some tips on how to do this yourself at the store to help save you some frustration. I used a little bit of uh, tape but basically this is it's really cool but it's itty bitty so I think you just put them on the tables for decoration. Uh, it looks like this on the decoration on the table but anyway uh, let me get the camera back up here. Um, but I love the 3D effect on it, and it's really eye-catching, um, but it's very intricate. So when you first, so I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys a little bit of what I did. But when you first do this, you want to, it's got the instructions on the back of the page, and it's real tricky. So you want to take it out like this. Be really careful when you punch these things out because it's be really easy to bend it, but you don't really want to bend it. So just be careful. I'm going to go ahead and punch this out. And the, the part that took me the longest was making that, uh, the, the center thorn, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Prong. Um, <laughs> long did in one, two. Long over here, this is our second one done. Long took like half my time, but he's way t more talent than I am. Um, so I would do your pre-folding or pre-creasing of everything beforehand. So here it is beforehand. This piece is, end up, is going to end up down here. See how that works down here? But you want this center piece to come out. But in order to do that, you're gonna to have to push this part out. See how you fold this, this thing here? And then you kind of, I used my nails to kind of tuck that in, but it's gonna be, I'm trying to do it this backwards. But take your time and you see how you can make that go in like that and you do that for the bottom and the, and the other part too. Um, and then it's, you're, you're going to put these in the little slits here. And when you do that, what I did behind here is tape it. And you want to do that um, with all the prongs except for these angled ones here. Because when you fold it this way, and you'll see how it makes a really cool looking rose in the back. You know you folded it right. Go ahead and curl this all up. You're going to see that these angled ones will also end up going bending down and going into the slot right there. It fits perfectly, you guys, but you'll want to fold these up first as well. So I hope that this little bit helps because I was extremely frustrated when I first made this, so this will be a lot better. And we only have, what, a whole bunch more to do. And I think these are going to be some awesome decorations for, I'm not exactly sure exactly what it's used for, but we will read the instructions and find out what's going on. So we're very excited to have the conspiracy event that's going to be here at the store August 26th. Um, I know that Kaylee and the team are going to have some pretty exciting, fun stuff planned out. So look for the event and we will be ready for you. Thanks, you guys, and enjoy these crowns because we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into them. Ha, ha, ha.